And they also claim that their coolers will hold ice for 10 days. 10 days, that's crazy. So I tested it. You guys aren't gonna believe what happened. How you guys doing? Welcome back to Country Mash. I hope you guys have been awesome. For those of you guys who follow me over at the Country Mash Instagram page and Facebook page, you guys know I've been wanting to introduce more outdoor gear reviews on the Country Mash channel. So today we're testing a cooler from a new company called Blue Coolers, who supposedly rivals Yeti's performance and rugged durability for a much lower cost. Like we're talking way cheaper. And they also claim that their coolers will hold ice for 10 days. 10 days, that's crazy. So I tested it, you guys aren't gonna believe what happened. But before we get to the 10 day ice test that I performed on the cooler they sent me, I do wanna share with you guys some specs and details in case you guys are interested in buying one of these, you guys are gonna to wanna to know a little bit more about it. So I'll also throw some links down in the description box below, and then we'll talk about the ice retention test. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you guys my overall experience and how I liked it during camping, fishing, barbecues at the house, stuff like that and if it's even worth it. But first, let's kick it off by talking about some of those specs and details. So the cooler that I have is what they call their 55 quart roto molded ice vault. Unlike a lot of other companies, the 55 quart is actually a true 55 quart volume inside. Their coolers currently come in three different colors. They have the white, a blue, and a charcoal. All of their coolers have two inches of insulation all the way around, and they do claim that they can hold ice up to 10 days. On top of the thick insulation, they are roto molded like a lot of the competition such as Yeti. So they are a very durable cooler and they have a really sturdy lid and you're not gonna have any problem. The latches that they use are a T-style latch and they really do snug down tight on the freezer style gasket. I do wanna note that the gasket that Blue Coolers uses seems to be a much thicker gasket than a lot of the other coolers out there are using. And I'm actually really impressed with the gasket they use. On the bottom, you do have non-skid feet that lift it off the ground, so you do get some ventilation underneath the cooler. The lid is lockable with these metal plates on the corners, and on one of them, you actually have a bottle opener, which is a pretty cool feature to have. There are grips molded into the actual cooler itself, and it also has the rope-style grips that they call Sure Grip handles, and these handles are really nice when it comes to two people carrying it around fully loaded. It does have a drain plug that allows you to unscrew it just a little bit without fully removing it and it's still able to drain. And it also has tie down and accessory slots. They say that this empty 55 quart cooler weighs 28.2 pounds. And of course the best part is the price which is $199 for their 55 quart ice vault. Although they do have some deals going on right now where they have like an accessories bundle and I think that would be a killer value. So if you guys are going to get one of these, I would suggest jumping on that bundle while they have it. So finally, I'm going to share with you guys the 10 day ice test. I loaded this guy up with five 10 pound bags of ice, which didn't fill it up completely to the very top, but it did fill it up a good bit. Um, I just felt like that would be fair. I watched a lot of different cooler reviews and it seems to be a standard way of filling these coolers up. So that's the route I went just to keep consistent with other tests out there. And I set it out in my backyard in an area with direct sun for most of the day. And the temperatures were floating around the mid to high 80s to the mid 90s to pretty close to 100 degrees. So it was a hot time. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna start rolling it in right here so you guys can see how it performed. All right, 24 hours later, this is what we got. And doesn't look like much has melted at all. Maybe a little bit, but not much. And it's kind of receded from the walls a little. But uh, let's keep it going. All right, this is day two. Let's see what we got. Okay, still a ton of ice. Looks like maybe a little bit more melted, but uh, not a whole lot. So let's keep it going.
day four. This is actually a little bit past 2 p.m. It's about 4.30 right now. So it's the heat of the day. We still got a ton of ice left. Day five, a little bit cooler today. Let's see what we got. All right, still a lot of ice, but we're getting a lot more water. Kind of floating ice at this point. Let's keep it going. Kind of a big block of ice. Getting a lot more water now. 85. Let's see where we're at. All right. It looks about the same as yesterday, to be honest. Uh, yeah, a little more water, I guess. But still got ice, day seven. All right, let's keep it going. Day eight. Let's check it out. Still got some ice in there. A lot more water, though. Day nine. And just a little bit of ice left. I think we could probably make it to the 10 day mark. Still have a little bit of ice. Let's keep it going. Day 10, it's pretty hot. Let's see what we got. It's about 310 right now. And it is ice cold water, but I don't see any ice. 10 days, pretty cool. All right, so the 10th day, we had ice water. We didn't have ice, except on day one, I had started the test around 1.30, 2 o'clock, and on the 10th day, I'd actually checked it around 3, 3.30. So it was a little bit past the 24 hour mark from the ninth day, and the fact that we had ice cold water at that time of day kind of goes to show me that we most likely had ice earlier that day and I feel like for sure at least early in the morning. So did we have ice on the 10th day? Uh, I'm inclined to believe that we did, although I don't have proof of it. But it performed so good in those conditions, like direct sun, this thing was baking. And those those were hot days. It was It was a scorcher. So... I want to chalk it up to saying that it lasted 10 days. I think this thing performed incredible. Like, I was really impressed by it. But is performance everything? Um, if it was, you know, we can just create this giant, like, 10-inch thick walled cooler and say, oh, this thing will last, you know, 30 days with ice in it. But performance isn't really everything. So that's what we're going to talk about. It's usability, um, it's form factor, it's style. Um, as much as many of you guys may not admit it, style does matter, um, even when it comes to outdoor gear and stuff like that. So my overall experience was I liked this cooler. Like I really enjoyed using it um, for all the, like the barbecues I've had, the parties I've had for camping. Um, I liked it so much that I actually sold my old go-to cooler, which was a Cabela's cooler. It's their rotor molded, I think it was called a polar cap or something like that. It was a 60 quart, so pretty much the same size as this guy. And I like the blue coolers better simply because of form factor, because of size, because of its ease of use, and because of its performance. It's, it's all those things combined. On top of the fact that it costs a lot less money, it just it has a ton of value. So I think blue coolers is doing something really good. So I definitely recommend blue coolers if you guys are wanting to check out, you know, a high performing, durable cooler, but you just don't want to spend the kind of money that some of these other companies are charging. Definitely give this a shot. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I want to thank them for sending this out to test and review. I hope you guys are enjoying these outdoor gear reviews. That about wraps up today's video, guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative, if not, you know, entertaining at the very least. If it was and you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. You guys seriously rock. I love all of you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.